Hang on. Hey everybody, Toby from Cape Gunworks here on Friday the 27th and just thought I'd give everybody another update, do some Q&A. Um, although I don't have the laptop in front of me so I'm not going to be able to read your questions, but maybe uh, Roy will shout some questions out and we'll be happy to go over the answers. But I thought I'd share with you what came in. First of all, we got a range update. We've been doing some maintenance on the range and the range, um, range one is almost complete. We have some stuff to tweak tomorrow. So range one will be down until 4 p.m. and we have a class on range two. So the range will be out of commission until 4 p.m. tomorrow on Saturday. So from Saturday at four to six, the range will be open. We're closing the range from now until further notice at six. I'm sure we'll eventually open back up to eight o'clock. Um, but as of right now, just for the sake of, uh, you know, not a lot of people shooting, we're gonna limit it to 6 p.m. So as of tomorrow, the range one will be done. We're gonna get through the classes this weekend. And then as of Tuesday, we'll shut down range two and we'll start maintenance over there. Try to freshen things up, fix stuff that's broken. We have a video that I posted earlier um, of Eric, our range manager, taking you around and showing you some of the damage that occurs when you own and operate a range. And some of the damage is awful head scratching how people with guns can, can manage to pull this off. But anyway, there's training available for those who don't know how to shoot a gun. So anyway, um, quick update. What, what we got into stock today, we got a bunch of deliveries today, which is good. Uh, some holsters came in on people that were waiting for holsters. Got more ammo in. I got more of the Federal HST nine millimeter hollow point. So that's good. That's been hard to keep in stock. Uh, we got 38 special range ammo. We got some uh, 357 Magnum range ammo. We got some 762 by 54R full metal jacket, which is great. Um, we also got some 12 gauge, which a lot of you've been asking for 12 gauge ammo. We got the Agula inch and three quarter mini slugs. So if you have a pump action shotgun like a Mossberg 500, we sell those ulti mini clips that you can put inside and, and they'll, uh, they'll you know cycle the smaller shells for you. Or if you have a KSG, or the new KS7, those are designed to run in that gun. So we got a pretty good amount of buckshot in the, you know, Agula inch and three quarter mini shells. So feel free to come grab a few boxes of that if you need some. A couple guns that came in, I want to showcase today. Uh, we got a nice Colt pre-band Sporter. Um, this is the 20 inch Sporter and uh, it's in great shape for as old as it is. So. We just got that in today. That'll be hitting the shelf tomorrow on Saturday. If you're interested in having a pre-band, maybe you missed the boat on that. Maybe you don't have an AR and you wanted to get one. Now, the nice thing about this gun is it's pre-band, so you don't need to worry about any of the evil features, quote unquote. So you can strip this gun down and do whatever you want with it. The lower, you could put a collapsible stock on it. You can, you don't have to thread, uh, pin the barrel, pin a muzzle brake on the barrel. You can work with this A2 flash hider. This Sporter model never had a bayonet lug, so those don't have them, but um, you can basically make this into an M4 style rifle if you want. Uh, and, you know, choices are there. And Sky's Tech RDBs, these have been flowing in and out of the shop pretty good. They're a great little piston operated uh, bullpup and the mag goes in the back here. Um, the thing I like about it is the ambidextrous controls of the gun, and it also has this HK style charging handle, which kind of clicks up in the up position to lock the bolt back. These little uh, bolt pups are great alternatives to an AR if you can't get one or you can't find one or you don't want to go with the newer fixed mag versions. Uh, this gun is a great little gun for home defense, has a lot of pick rails, so you can put a red dot and a flashlight and a optic on there as well. It also has pick rail on the bottom if you want to put a vertical foregrip or an angled foregrip or something like that. But very lightweight, easy gun to maneuver through uh, tight spaces. Bullpups are a great home defense rifle. And this one here, I really like it for the size and the weight of it. It's a lot lighter than a Tavor and it's also a lot lighter on the wallet. These come in at about uh, less than 1100 bucks. So good little gun from Caltech. Last night, I talked about these in our live stream, the, the Savage MDT, they're a chassis gun. It's like the um, precision rifle. It's a 22 mag. I have this one in 22 mag and I have them in 22 long rifle. They have a threaded barrel. They have a adjustable cheek piece on the stock. They have some shims that you can take out 
If you want to shorten the length of pull, they have a real nice grip on it, detachable magazine. It's got the M-lock rail in the three, six, and nine position. It also has a uh, sling swivel on the front for like a Harris type bipod or something like that. Or you could just, heaven forbid, actually put a sling on this, but most people don't. But, um, you know, you could put a bipod on there or use the Picatinny rail um, in the M-lock sections and put on a Atlas bipod or one of the Warren bipods, one of the Precision bipods. But this gun has a great little feel to it, and it also has the Accu trigger, so it's a really crisp uh, trigger pull. Um, great gun for the money, and uh, we got some questions rolling in. Someone wants to know how is the Sig MCX mass legal? How is the MCX mass legal? Good question. The Sig MCX is not an AR-15. That's how it's mass legal because it doesn't meet the interchangeability requirements of the attorney general. So SIG MCX is a piston driven gun that has a completely redesigned bolt carrier group and the buffer is on top of the bolt. So it doesn't even use a buffer tube. It, the, the free state versions have folding stocks and you can actually fire the gun with the stock folded unlike any AR-15 that's made other than like the dead foot arms you know, stuff that still uses a buffer tube. So it's a complete redesign on the gun. Um, SIG doesn't consider it an AR. They don't call it an AR. They do have AR rifles like the M400 and whatnot, but the MCX is not an AR, even though all the controls are in the same place. The attorney general is very clear about um, the, just because the gun looks like an AR, it doesn't mean it's an AR. So even though all the controls are in the same place, it's not an AR because it doesn't, you can't take an MCX upper and put it on an AR lower and get it to work. It's not going to happen. So totally different gun. And because it's not a named gun in the assault weapons ban enforcement notice, we can sell it as long as it's in a post ban configuration. So great question. Keep them coming in. Royal tee them up for me. Um, last of the long guns I was going to show you guys tonight is this Panzer Arms. It's a Turkish made semi-automatic shotgun it's actually a really cool shotgun i've never had one in the store it is a detachable magazine so it comes with a five round mag um, but it, it's a nice feel really cool cerakote finish on it in this tiger stripe pattern has tons of picatinny rail if you want to put a vertical foregrip on it or you want to put a uh, red dot or a you know a flashlight for home defense or if you want to just make this a range gun has an adjustable cheek piece as well so you can get a good cheek weld on the gun while you're looking through an optic or a red dot or something like that but yeah it's a cool little gun i'm, I'm pretty impressed with it overall fit and finish of it is is pretty neato if you ask me it's got um it's got a cleaning kit comes with a bunch of extra stuff as well and so good stuff so anyway someone wants to know are the used mp9s with manual safeties and free state triggers massachusetts legal yes um, we have a pretty good selection of used MMP nines. So um, I, these MMP nines, I think, even predate the '98 uh, list, if you will. But they're um, they've been well maintained. The it's the Sig MMP nine full size, the 1.0 gun with a thumb safety, tritium night sights. I think they're made by Trigicon night sights. And they've been very well maintained. We're selling them for uh, two ninety nine, and if you want one hand selected, I think it's twenty bucks more or something. Comes with one mag, and uh, we got a bunch of them. So yeah, come on down and grab them. Good trigger. Somebody wants to know if you can show the fixed mag ARs. Fixed mag ARs. Yeah, maybe I'll grab. Uh, we'll grab someone to open the case. Hold on one sec. Can you go open the uh, case for me and grab uh, the? It's the first. Rifle yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll get the uh, fixed mag AR rifle. Well, Josh is doing that, grabbing us a fixed mag AR, one of the Franklin Armory ones. Uh, I thought I'd show you guys one of the newest Nighthawk customs to enter into the fold. This one is the Nighthawk Agent 2. It's a collaboration with Agency Arms. And uh, we've been selling these in nine millimeter quite a bit. This is my first one in 45 ACP. So there's been a couple guys lately who've been wanting to, wanting to see the uh, agency arms in 45. We've had a couple of the 45s, but not, not lately. And uh, this one is in 45. It is just a gorgeous gun. Comes with Heine rear sights, 
and the fit and finish on these guns is outstanding. Even like the uh, checkering here on the back strap or the mainspring housing and how it looks with the beaver tail grip safety. And it feels like it's on ball bearings when you work the action on these guns. So yeah, Nighthawk Custom does an amazing job and uh, Agency Arms does the slide, some of the slide work for them. Then it goes back to Nighthawk Customs for a completion, has a tactical rail on it. And the fit and finish on these guns, you just have to see them to appreciate. We still have a demo gun. We have one of the presidents in nine millimeter that you can try on the range. If you're so inclined to possibly, yeah, try one out and buy one, you want to treat yourself to a nice retirement gift or a graduation gift, or, you know, been at, been at the job for 20 years gift, whatever it is. Uh, there's no need to come up with a real big excuse for one of these guns. They're just great guns. So come on down, check them out. And no, you don't get a discount for the dented mag. No, just <laughs> this is the one that uh, just came in today as well. Nighthawk Custom President with the titanium nitrate barrel. And uh, you can see that it's clear here. And I want to show you guys the muzzle of the gun, the, the crown relief on the barrel perfectly meshes with the, with the uh, bushing right there, the spring, the bushing on the end. It's just the fit and finish on these is a work, nothing short of a work of art. And again, it feels like the, it's just on ball bearings here. Uh, I love the checkering. It's got the 30 lines per inch checkering. So it feels really good in the hand. It's not too sharp. It doesn't cut into you in any way, shape or form. And uh, this comes with the Heine rear sights and the 24 karat gold front sight. So yeah, check it out. All right, cool. Where's my, uh, right here. Ah. So this is the Franklin Armory um, fixed mag AR. As you can see the mag won't come out of the gun. I can push on the mag release, but it doesn't come out. Um, the kind of the cool thing about uh, the fixed mag ARs in Massachusetts is you kind of get the benefit of the free state guns. You can have all the rest of the evil features on the gun, like a collapsible magazine. You can have a, the dreaded flash hider. You can have the threaded barrel. You could have a bayonet lug if the gun had it. And you can have all those quote unquote evil features because the magazine being fixed in the gun ma mandates that this can never be defined as an assault weapon. It's a 10 round fixed magazine you know, gun that does not have a detachable magazine. And it loads through the ejection port with the Mean Arms MA loaders. Hey, Josh, right behind here, there's a MA loader in this underneath somewhere. You know what I mean? So I'll show you guys what the MA loader looks like. And the cool thing, uh, the cool thing about this is it rocks into the ejection port. Then you just push down on that. It'll top feed the mag. When you pull back on this, the bolt will go forward automatically if there were rounds in the mag. So. It's pretty quick to reload. And if somebody wants to know, are the mags removable through the top or are they pinned to the receiver? No, they're, they're not removable through the top. If I was to push the bolt down, let the action of the gun slide open, you'll see these mags will not come out of the gun either direction. So these are fixed, but you could top load it like this if you break the action open. And this particular model is, is equipped with the uh, Franklin Arms binary trigger. So it goes safe, semi, and then binary where it will shoot when you depress the trigger and when you release the trigger. So kind of fun and uh, you know just a fun way to shoot the gun every once in a while. Um, certainly not for all practical purposes the way you'll run the gun all the time, but at least it has that option. And this gun is uh, $999.99. It's a great entry level. AR style gun that's legal for sale in mass and you get the free state benefit of some of those uh, features of, you know, the pre-band configuration. So yeah, come check them out. I got a few of these in stock. They are going quick though. And I'm happy to showcase any guns that you guys might have some questions about each, each day. And uh, we could go do an in-depth dive on one or two of them if you want. I do still have some of the SIG MCXs in stock and 300 Blackout. I have um, the Caltech RDB. I have the Tavor. Uh, what else we got? Um, Preban. Got another Preban coming in as well, another Colt Preban. 
with the triangle hand guard. So somebody uh, wants to know, do we have the Meltec KS7? Do we have the Keltec KS7? We do. We have I think we have one or two oh, left. And those I think are 649, if I'm not mistaken. And they're OD green. You can have any color you want as long as it's OD green. So yeah, we got a couple of those left in stock. We do have a flat dark earth KSG, and both of those guns, those Agula mini shells that I was talking about earlier, um, might as well just show you guys. Uh, these Agula mini shells were designed to work in the KSG, so uh, they work very, very well in the KSG and in the KS7. So you can see the cute little things, but work good in a double barrel or a pump. Or, I mean, a uh, you know, like an over under or a double barrel shotgun as well. Someone wants to know is the used gun market about to explode when people sell back to you? <laughs> uh, you know what, everybody, I haven't had too many people walking their guns in the store in the last couple of weeks. Um, our used gun inventory is at an all time low. So I hope some people do decide to trade their guns in and upgrade. So, um, but you know, I don't know that it's going to explode. Not, you know, people aren't buying like dozens of guns. People who have never owned guns but had their license are starting to come in and go, I want to buy a gun. You know, yeah, in a couple of years, they might have, you know, when the smoke clears, they might say, yeah, I never shoot the thing. I want to trade it in or sell it back or whatever. That could happen. That's happened before. So, yeah, the, um, you know, that, that's a thing. It could happen. So our battery's getting low on the laptop, so we're going to cut it short. Um, but if you guys have a couple more questions, I'm happy to talk about it uh yep. you know anything else you need what's are all, that are all the components of the Franklin military spec compatible with all the other ar parts that yes see? yeah all the um franklin armory components are mil spec so they will interchange no problem the buffer tube is a mil spec buffer tube so you can put a magpole furniture on if you want to change out the hand guard if you wanted although that hand guard is one of the more requested hand guards we get in the store because People love the feel of it on the on the uh, rifle itself. So um, I don't think I'd change anything on the handguard because it, it's set up for the M lock, so you can put Picatinny rail wherever. So yeah, it's a great gun. You can change it around, do whatever you want with it, and uh, yeah, it's mil spec. So yep. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll make this video shareable. So if you want to spread it around, that'd be great. If you have any other questions, sound off in the comments. We'll start answering them. Any way we can, you can hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and all that other good stuff. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. We appreciate your support of our range. The website is up and live, so go ahead and check that out. We got the nine millimeter shipment secure. So if you wanna pre-buy some nine mil uh, range ammo, we got it uh, 300 bucks a case. So you're welcome to, you're welcome to uh, you know, get on our website and secure a couple cases or however many you want. Um, so we'll be getting that we will, and we will ship it for a flat fee of 25 bucks anywhere in the country. So if you need some nine mil by all means pre-buy it. It's set to come in first or second week of April. So the last bit anyway. of what's that? Except Alaska and Hawaii. The what? Except Alaska and Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> the lower 48. Right. Yeah. The lower 48. Right. We're not going to go to Alaska and Hawaii. Right. But we will for an extra fee. So anyway, thanks for tuning in guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe. God bless.